ये है मार्ग सकबर्ग ही जस्ट नेवर लीव्स मी उठते समय खाते समय चलते समय और सोते समय ही इज जस्ट ऑलवेज देर Mark, we are CEOs. I'm the CEO of Apple. You're the CEO of Facebook. We must protect our users' privacy. Get out. Later that same evening. You saw that Apple's USP has always been that it is ultra protective of its users privacy but i want to tell you that that's all a facade and i'm here to tell you why my name is varun maya and honestly this all started with apple's new surveillance system that apple brought out with ios 15 so the update allows your phone to go through all your photos and if it finds child pornography it immediately flags that content and forwards it to the government now you might ask Varun what is wrong with the right kind of police isn't child pornography bad shouldn't we ban it shouldn't we alert the government and i agree with you but i want to tell you a small story a story of caution in 1608 a small group of foreign traders docked their ships onto the surat port within 5 years they established their own company but this story is not about that one of the first rules they made as a governing figure was they enacted something called the Bengal Sati Regulation Act this act banned the practice of sati and this innocent company is none other than the east india company now you and i agree that sati is bad and what this company did was a good thing but do you know what it led to starting with moral policing they eventually went from things that everyone agreed with to eventually things that only they wanted what i'm trying to say is Once we give Apple the right to morally police us whether for good or for bad it is only a slippery slope from there now i started this story by showing you that apple has no real regard for your privacy but i want to tell you what their actual stance on this is on december 18 2020 tim cook put out this tweet this is basically a screen from the new ios 14.5 where whenever you installed an app it would ask the user whether they wanted to be tracked now tracking as we all know is something that many different apps rely on to serve targeted ads do you know what happened more than 63% of the us chose their privacy and clicked do not track apps that ran targeted ads like facebook twitter took a huge hit resulting in a net loss of 600 billion dollars of facebook alone in just one year now why did tim cook somebody of that stature publicly name facebook in that tweet it's because apple has had a problem with facebook for seven and a half years sir my name is mark and i've created an app called facebook i want to be on the app store sir 15%. 30%. Sir, we just run ads, sir. Yeah. You know, you're young. I'm going to let it be. I don't think your app's going to do well. Go. Enter. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Facebook. <laughs> Seven years later. Hey, market Tinder advertising ke liye kuch badhiya maal nikal. Oh, Tinder. Welcome back. I've got a fresh new piece for you. 24 years old and divorce is going to be perfect for you. Kuch fresh dikha yaar. Uh here. 18 year old piece. He's just broken up. Chal iska chhe peti pack kar. Sure. 3 days later. Kuch thoda jignik jignik exotic maal dikha yaar. Uh exotic exotic exotic. Oh yeah, I've got something exotic for you. This one is just an MBA. How crazy is that? Tu fir se mere ko sasta maal chipka re. Isko nikal baaki sab pack kar. All right.
You see, the way Apple makes money on the iOS App Store is that it collects 30% on every microtransaction from apps on the App Store. Now, Facebook never ended up paying Apple even a single dollar because Facebook only ran ads. They said, hey, we don't do any microtransactions. We only run ads. All this has resulted in a war-like situation with Facebook advertising the convenience of targeted ads and Apple rooting for your privacy. Now with the Netflix series, The Social Dilemma, and Facebook really getting into problems with Cambridge Analytica, Facebook became the scapegoat that Apple used to play its card of, hey, they're not respecting your privacy to ruin Facebook's business. By destroying Facebook and Twitter's business with this do not track system, Apple has ruined their advertising relationships. That is Apple's strategy to actually build its own ad network while claiming to be privacy friendly. Do you know what Apple's stance on this is? It says, hey, we can track you because we're Apple. Apple is a closed system. You, me, we friends. Facebook, outside, bad guy. In reality, Apple just wanted to clean the competition. Now let's get back to Facebook. Facebook started playing the small business card. Facebook made an official post saying, hey, we are not the only ones getting destroyed. It's also the small businesses. If you remove tracking, then small businesses cannot run themselves and their ads are gonna to go to the wrong people. The lawyer's ads are gonna to go to the people who want shoes, and the shoemaker's ads are gonna to go to the people who need legal help. And the data shows that they're not actually lying. Which is good, right? More privacy for the users? Wrong. In reality, targeted ads are not as bad as you think. Meta ads use anonymous user IDs and just show ads to a large group of users that have similar characteristics. But with the data collection being off, People have been getting random ads that they don't click on and the ad revenue for Facebook and several other businesses has gone down. So what ended up happening was that while the world was angry at Facebook for privacy, Apple took advantage and completely destroyed their business to clean house for themselves. You see, it's already showing ads on news and stocks and will start showing them on maps, Apple Books and Apple Podcasts. And it uses data from your other services and your Apple ID in itself. The reason for this is because of Apple's stakeholders. Apple is already generating $4 billion annually and it can't build small businesses inside itself. It has to look for massive revenue centers and it's not content with just its small revenue numbers. It needs to get it up to double digits. Well, that's it for the iPhone 15. It's the same old iPhone, just a little more expensive. Now, as you know, at these Apple events, we always have a surprise for you. So, one more thing. That's right. This is our own advertising business. You want targeted advertisements? We've got it. Our team has actually found out that Apple has put out a job posting for senior product managers that makes its advertising agenda perfectly clear. It has been looking for people that can drive the design for the most privacy forward platform, but at the same time, someone who can advertise related products to hundreds of millions. Plus, according to sources, there are organization changes inside Apple where earlier, the ad group's vice president in charge used to report to the deputy services head, but now reports directly to the services head. Whenever a company wants to change its ambitions, you should always look at the organization chart and see what's moving. The ambitions of the CEO are often driven by who reports to him. And as you see people climbing up the charts, it means that the company is paying more attention to that role. Now, as I said before, Facebook has been warning its investors about the gameplay of Apple for a long time, but no one really listened to them. 
and thought they were simply overplaying the problem because of the revenue race. But that is far from the truth. There are other companies that have had problems with Apple in different places. Now let's take the example of Epic Games, the company that runs Fortnite. Now Epic Games sells microtransactions inside its game. If you want to buy skins, you can well pay for it and you can acquire it. However, if you buy that skin on an Apple device, then you need to pay Apple the 30% Apple tax. Now Epic Games said that 30% is excessive and they would love to sell the same product where people can buy the product on the website and then use the skin inside the game. However, Apple disagreed with this and did not allow Epic Games to sell the same skin outside on a website without paying them the tax. When Epic Games filed a lawsuit, Apple said that it wouldn't allow Fortnite back on the App Store till either a verdict comes out or it pays the Apple tax. And as you know, lawsuits have taken 5 to 10 years in this regard at minimum. Now, companies like Microsoft, Facebook and Spotify sided with Epic Games in the lawsuit, arguing that Apple was abusing a monopoly. When Apple was asked, hey, why don't you allow other app stores on the platform? Apple simply said, privacy. Now, not just Epic Games, but a lot of companies like Tumblr, for example, have come forward saying that if they don't pay the Apple tax, they hijack all their future app updates on the App Store. And the Apple team, which reviews the App Store updates, can seemingly delay it indefinitely as their review process for updates is completely random and arbitrary, ensuring they can stall it for as long as they want. And these problems are not just limited to the US. Very recently, Tinder filed a complaint against the excessive 30% tax of Apple in the Indian CCI context, which is the Competition Commission of India. So Apple's taking damage from many different sites. So think about this. If you are an app developer, you need to find users. How are you going to find users? You are going to run ads. Which is the only ad platform that is going to be capable of running targeted ads? Apple. So you're going to pay Apple to get users to your app. Maybe it's a microtransaction. Suppose you make 100 rupees there. Again, you have to give Apple 30 rupees because it's the Apple tax. Finally, if you want to also monetize via ads, the ad network you'd go to is Apple. So Apple is essentially becoming a monopoly if you want to build anything digital and go the app route. So in this video, I've gone to show you that Apple has become a super doglapan company. And this is not the spirit that Steve Jobs left it with. Apple has become a super corporate. They need to keep making money and they're doing everything in their books to become a true monopoly, just like East India Company. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels. FBN is the out of the game. A-P-P-L-E is the name. Market mein top mein to bought many plans or rope or rapper hostile to take over on head to FBN Instagram as a lame. A-P-P-L-E is the name. Privacy pe pitch shock se hum to apni dhun mein monopoly ki thos ye thos ye. Tere ads ko kha ke bed bhara mera bhot hai. Mark tu jhe de apple her day. He kaat ke line hum aage. खड़े हम आगे बढ़े जब जाना हो जी टॉप पे तो यू गॉट अप इन द वॉर बे ए पी पी एल ई इज द नेम ए पी पी एल ई इज द नेम सकी बॉय डू यू वांट टू प्ले अ गेम ए पी पी एल ई इज द नेम